Okay, guys, we're back on the chains. Uh, went and borrowed the tool off my neighbor. This is to spread your links, which this is a big chain, so I'm going to have to heat it up a little bit with the torches. And we'll go ahead and get in right into that. Uh, before we do, if this is your first video seeing, this is kind of what we do. I teach each other stuff on the channel. Uh, this is, you know, this little tractor has done everything on my little farm so far. Uh, takes care of the cattle, so on and so forth. So if you like tractors, you like cattle, hunting, fishing, all that good stuff, you're in the right place. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button and uh, we'll go ahead and get in. This is the second part of this uh, fitting a set of chains to the 2038R John Deere. So uh, as you can tell, they're a pretty nice set of chains. We want them at an auction. So, but I gotta shorten them down. I gotta take this link, this this link out of it. So, and what I'm doing is I'm putting some plywood to defer the heat away from the tire. Plywood's a pretty, a pretty good wood to use because it it's not as flammable as most wood. I know it sounds funny to say, but you'll see what I kind of mean here in a minute. But uh, anyhow, we'll uh, get this link warmed up. And then we will spread it with these spreaders. But uh, put you guys right here and uh, get this torch fired up. Shouldn't, shouldn't really take too long. these spreaders in there and look how easy it been out do the same thing hopefully the torch will fire up again that's all you got to do you know take your chain and it's all fair. Now you want to keep that plywood there or check your length, which yeah, it's still a little hot. So, uh, but anyhow, that's to keep you from uh, cutting links off. But now I think we'll have, we might have, we might have to take one more off. I don't know. If I do, I'll probably just move it. Uh, but we'll go ahead and do the other side. And then uh, we'll come back and try to finish this vlog up. Okay, guys, we got the excess chain off there. Now we got to do is wait for it to cool down a little bit, and we'll move it together. Uh, it looks like we are going to have a decent sized space in the tire. I'll have to see what I can do there. Uh, but once this cools down, and all I've done is I kind of just took the tire and went around with it. Uh, but I'm hoping... I'm hoping to get away with uh, not having to put bungees on the outside of these, but I'm going to say I'm going to have to, seeing how I, I like them to be a little bit farther down on the sidewall than what they are. So, uh, but anyhow, you never know until you get moving. And uh, once I get this side on, I'll take it out and uh, drive it up and down the driveway here get them all loosened up and then jack it back up and see what happens but uh anyhow uh that's what this go just to give you a little insight this is what this is you move that together and you can put that inside your uh cross link here i got you guys laying on my see if i can't put you up here but You just put that and that's kind of still a little bit warm but you can get the logistics you put that in there and squeeze that together and it'll open up that jaw uh, bad thing is i say there'd be enough room almost enough chain left for the front but uh 
Also, this thing, it's a multiple use tool. Like I said, it spreads your link. It will uh, compress your link also if you're making a new chain. So, kind of handy to have. I'll try to, if I can find one on like a below. Like I said, I'll have one. I borrowed that off the neighbor, so. But all we gotta do now is get the slack out of the chain, and uh, which there's still a good bit of slack. And what we'll do, if we have to, we may have to run the tire all the way down to the bottom to get all the slack out of it, like so. And keep that tire right there. I'm hoping to be able to do it from right here, but you know, every time you can sit there, guys, and mess with these chains and mess with these chains, and it will just drive you nuts. But I'll kind of hopefully show you the easy way of doing it here, and we'll go from there. But uh, anyhow, let's see if this is cooled down. I'm gonna put you guys up on the uh, try to put you guys up on the three point hitch, so it may be a little wobbly. It's semi cool. Let's see, ow. No, it's not. Ow. Yeah, see? Ow. But, uh, I'm gonna have to let that cool down a little bit more of that or put a pair of leather gloves on. 240 Linden Avenue, Sonanga, trash fire, company 10 respond. Well, actually, Avenue, sounds like I'm gonna go on a fire call, so. Uh, you'll probably hear the phone. Yeah, so everything's coming up now. Yeah, I don't know if you'll actually hear it beep, but uh, I'll actually see if anybody's going on it before I go. Hopefully, it's a Sunday, so usually on Sundays you're pretty good. But, and what to do is You'll go right here and it'll tell you, there's a phone app, you know, phones took over everything, but it'll tell you who's all going. See, there's already people at station and stuff, so we'll be able to finish this out. Uh, sure, some of you get, don't care about that, but, but we'll, let's try to get these tightened up again, which I, I think will be all right. Like I said, I don't like the big space in it, but, Again, if you move it down here at the bottom, it's a lot easier to get slack than it would be from up at the top. Well, I got it out. Let's see if we can get it back in without burning our hand off. Oh, it's, it's, it's almost there. You guys are probably getting tired of getting bumped around yourselves. Ah, there it is. So, we took it one link. Okay. Here we go. We got... The inside tight now, now we gotta do the outside. And I ain't going to try to hold the camera. So here we go, I'm gonna shut you guys off. We'll come back and see how many links we get out of it. Okay guys, I wanna show you this real quick also. As you can see, I got it at the bottom of the tire. So we'll be able to get slack out of it pretty easy now. Now, there is one little thing that you wanna do here. And that is you do not wanna take it tighter than your inside because it will just pull it this way. So, just make sure you don't do that. But, we'll go ahead and sit you guys down here. Take this back out. So technically I can only go one, but I can get three. So I'm gonna go ahead and do three on this side. And then we'll go back to the Now we'll go ahead back to the center or the back of it and we'll try to get one more that way it's even. Uh, I think it's going to work out pretty good though. 
gonna be minimal spacing in it so but we'll uh we'll see what happens like i said i'll run it i'll move everything out of the way run it down the road or i may go ahead and put the other one in i don't know we'll just kind of go but i like it so far i will say that and it's hanging down over the sidewall further than what i have so we may get away without uh putting straps but i'm gonna pop as bad as I hate to do this is I gotta crawl underneath of it and I'll try to put you guys down right there. I'll grab. See, I don't think with the slack I got right now, I'm not gonna get another. So I'm gonna kinda dance the chains around here on the tire see if I can't pull some slack out of them I mean it's there just getting it down to here it seems like let's go ahead and take it out it's close very close I know you guys can't see but I don't want to let them go because I don't want to lose all the slack that I gained oh damn they're headed Man, I just need a little bit more. I mean, a touch bit more to get this thing on this last link. This is why people usually keep their chains on all the time, guys, because sometimes I'm going to go ahead and try to move you here. I don't know if you'll be able to see but they can be a pain in the butt now if i take the inside loose which i'm getting ready to do Okay, I had to let it go, guys. I went to take his front loose. And that should give me the, hopefully the slack I need to get this. It did. We'll fight the front. It'll be easier to fight. Should have done that to begin with, but I never. So as you can see, we're in the last link right there. I know the sun shining through the tractor. In the last link right here too. So I'll kind of sit you guys here in the rim and uh, see if we can't. So you got a little bit of leverage here with this, the way the system is. I can tell you one thing, if we can get it pulled, she'll, there we go, found that slack. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. There's no uh, big wide spots in the tires that came together nice. And uh, there you have it. Again, make sure your hooks are out. And, uh, We'll go ahead and, um, well, what do you, I might as well just throw this other chain on and let me go through that and then we'll take it down the driveway here and see how it is on black top and all that stuff. I'd say she's going to be pretty bouncy. These are a pretty, pretty big husky set of chains for this and uh, see what happens. Okay guys, both sides are on, both sides are even. Uh, when I say even, I don't mean I have to label them 
when I go to find out which chain is which when I take them off in the spring. So uh, let's go ahead and fire the 2038R up. And the best way, in my opinion, to test a train, or chain, excuse me, put a little bit of speed behind it. Let the tractor warm up here a little bit. I gotta move the side by side out of the way. Just give me a minute here. can tell you this guys very rough on the driveway uh, I thought they done real good though they're not slipping off or nothing I think once they get eight in they'll be all right or get you know kind of untangled and all that from the chain as you can see I made the turn up on the driveway right here it kind of boy the wind's blowing hard but uh yeah real happy with them so see like this chain right there is kind of a little bunched up but never hurt nothing i think this will make a big difference this winter guys uh i will say one thing if it snows you almost have to have <laughs> boy it'll take a hell of a snow to stop ease i'll, I'll say that but uh, anyhow, guys, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. See ya.